Welcome to race 20 of the NASCAR International Cup Series live from ISM Raceway here in Avondale, Arizona, formerly known as Phoenix International Raceway. We have the title contenders in second, third, and fourth, with Zach Johnson leading the way here. Johnson has the lead coming into turn one, but Martin is looking to get aggressive early. The number three are brought away into the inside. Coming into turn three, it is now Martin that is in the lead, and he will take lap one. Three wide as we have a battle for second. With the eight and the 527 and the 96. Martin goes way to the outside. Not the preferred way you want to be, but so far he holds on to it. Barely taps the wall, but that's not going to affect his speed. Coming into turn three. And into turn th two, it is Martin who takes lap two. Let's take our fruit from our cam of the number eight of, of Luis Gustavo de Marza, who is currently riding in second. As Levante Martin takes lap three, has led all of the laps so far. It is the title contenders who take the top three at the moment. The eight and the 96 are looking to wear their first. Martin is looking to make it twice in a row. We look here from perspective of Cam Kromberg has gotten closer. Martin still has a significant lead at the moment. But are his tires going to wear out too early because of it? A very good battle here for second between the 8 and the 96. And Martin is hit hard into the wall and that's going to slow him down a little bit. It'll slow him down a lot as the 8 looks to take the lead coming into turn 3. Coming out of turn 4, it is Martin who still is in the lead, but the gap has closed in very significantly here. Coming into turn 1, Martin slides to the outside, and that's going to let the 8 of Luis Gustavo de Marza take the lead. They make contact coming out of the turn. Coming into turn three, Martin looks to get faster on the outside. He's able to get a full car length ahead once again. Now the 527 and the 53 have come to join the race as well. The race for the win. A five wide battle for the lead as we approach almost the one third mark of this race. 70 almost hits the wall again. Let's get a cockpit view from the 527 car of Zach Johnson. All Johnson can see at the moment is the back of Felix Blau Cromer. Gamarian has gone way into the inside and has completely slipped. The 96 even drifted a little bit coming into that turn. Go back into the lead. It is the 70 who slides with the 8. And Kinnak Kubakata with the 8 as well. The 8 hits. Hits. Hits Lamarty. The 8 has completely spun out from Martin. Martin could not control it. I don't think it was intentional, but we would see after that. But the 8 and the 12 are out of it. That's a huge blow for the points leader, Luis Gustavo de Marza. Meanwhile, back in the contention, it is the 70, the 96, and now the 53 of Buck with Huckleberry, who has replaced Gustavo de Marza as a spot in the top three. The 70 is very badly damaged. That could affect his aerodynamics greatly. And the 96 and the 53 know this. It's just a matter of taking time. The 70 into the wall again. Martin has said before this race, this is not one of his strong tracks, and although he is leading, 
It did take Crash in the E to do so, and it looks like his chances of winning are getting lower and lower as the 96 and the 53 stay calm and collected. Yeah, as you see here, Martin is way into the outside, getting slippery once again, and it is Cromberg who will take advantage of it. Now there's a good battle between Martin and Cromberg. Martin outbreaks Cromberg going into turn three. Will he be faster coming out of turn four? Cromberg takes the lead this time. Almost halfway there. 96, 70, 53 are your top three. The 96 has still got a lot of speed here. The 70 of Martin, he outbreaks Cromberg to able to get a full car length ahead. The number 8 of Luis Gustavo de Marza has just left pit lane. We are halfway through with this race. The 96, the 70, the 53 are battling for the lead. Amazingly, very close racing we have here. The closest we've had in a while. The, seven, the 96 taps the 70. All three of these cars are looking to get very aggressive. Meanwhile, there's a very unusual contender in the almost in the top five. Elliot Yankovic, the 74, Zach Johnson's teammate. He's looking for his first top 10 of the season. The 70 and the 96 almost made contact again, and the 70 is slipping. Those tires are definitely worn out by now. But it's the 70 who still has the lead. Now it's the 53 out to the outside looking to take the lead away from Kromberg. Martin leads that. Martin leads this time by 5 one hundredths of a second. This is very close racing here between these four. Morrison Jr. and Yankovic are looking to play patience at the moment. You see from our helicopter cam, this is how close the racing is at the moment. Coming into turn 3, the 70 rubs the 96, but oh, but gets completely outbraked. The 96 is able to get faster coming out of the turn. And now Johnson and Morrison Jr. go into the inside. 3 wide coming into turn 1. And it's still 3 wide coming into turn 2. Oh, the 70 hits the wall hard there and affects the domino effect on the 53 as well. And now there's a lap car of Luis Gustavo de Marza who is now going to be a factor here. This time, it is Felix Palau Kromberg who comfortably has the lead now. Already passes the lap car. Dustin Morrison Jr. looks to, join, looks to be the next car in contention. The 70 has fallen back behind. After those good few laps of racing, it is now the 96 who has a significant lead over the rest of the pack. Kromberg is now ahead by almost six tenths of a second, with the 10 in second, the 70 in third, and the 527 in fourth. But here's a very good battle here for third between Johnson and Martin. Coming into our spectator cam, Martin looks to shoot for second. And now it's his teammate, Luis Fontaine, who's there. Right behind the 527. Let's see from our roof cam of Zach Johnson in the 527 Red Bull Toyota. Down the back straightaway. It looks like Felix Palau Crawford is going to redeem himself from the early lapse trouble he had in the last race and get another win. But it's not over yet. Dustin Morrison Jr. looks to get a win as well. His first of the season after running so well for many races. The 70 of Martin is completely beat up. He's probably just hoping for a top five. And there it is. The 70 hits. The 7 there where they both crash. Right on the roof cam, the 527 flips. He is completely flipped over. Let's take a look at that again. 
as you can see from right here from our pit lane two cam the 70 coming out of the turn hits the 527 and causes the 27 to flip into the wall but the 70 is able to save it but a lot of cars pass because of it The 70 of Martin has fallen all the way behind Falcon Star for 15th with three laps to go. Four laps to go. Meanwhile, up front, Felix Palau Kromberg has completely ran away with it. All of the other title contenders are out of the are out of victory contention, and now he can just cruise to the victory lane after a great redemption story. But we have a very good battle for third here. Fontaine has now taken the third spot with Jankovic looking to get his first top five of the season. Can he? All he has to do is just ride with Buck with Huckleberry. It doesn't even matter if he's in front or behind. A fourth place finish for Jankovic will be more than great for him. Two laps to go here at ISM. Kromberg is ahead by over two seconds. Almost two seconds to be exact. 1.91. The 70 of Martin has fallen way back to 15th. And there is your leader, Felix Blau Kromberg. One lap to go. Started out in amazing form and then fell off completely in the last race, having to pit in early at Auto Club. But now he is looking for redemption to find himself back into the title race convincingly. Meanwhile, as Felix Palau Kromberg finishes here at ISM in the first place position, we are also looking at Elliot Yankovic, the rookie, the rookie from the Balkans, who is going to get his first top five of the season. The first time Yankovic is the first place rookie in a race. And Martin has fallen all the way back to 16th. A huge blow for the 70 and the 8, and a huge victory for the 96.